Alert. Carrier is taking fire. Ooh, wow, that's some beastly armor. Distribution. The command carrier. Greetings fellow gamers, this is your host, Intrep Gamer, representing G is for Gaming, and I am starting a new Let's Play game of Homeworld Deserts of Crack. So pretty much what the idea is going to be is I'm going to probably do maybe one or two episodes a day, missions depending on how long they are, uh, and upload them for your amusement to see, you know, how the game is, give you my feet, you know, what I thought about the game, uh, and it's going to be... Uh, starting from this game, is a brand new uh, edition of the Homeworld series, which is by far a very, very well developed game. If you ever get a chance to get the uh, remastered editions, a lot of fun. Uh, but we're going to start off with this game, and then once we beat this game, uh, I will replay Homeworld uh, for your amusement, uh, give you my impressions and how I think about it, and then upgrade from there to Homeworld 2 and finish out the story so you can get an, uh, a chronological order of how things work out for uh, these people so um, we're gonna jump right in we're gonna start a campaign uh, let's see yes we will play the tutorials so I'm gonna play this on normal because I'm not a very skilled gamer and I wanna win without too much you know hassle so I guess this episode would be about, you know, picking up how the tutorial works, see how intuitive it is, see, you know, how it kind of gives you a little bit of backstory, hopefully, you know, in the, uh, in the overall arc of these people. So, uh, while we wait for this loader screen to come up, you know, maybe try to make a little bit more small talk, yada, yada, yada. Um, here we go. Here's a cutscene. I'll let the thing go. In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics of how to play. Alright, here we go. Objectives are displayed on the left. These are your gameplay goals. Pretty clear and forward. Select okay. a unit by left clicking or dragging a selection box around the unit. Go to the area. Left click and hold to drag a selection box around several units. Strike craft ready. Cool. Move selected units by clicking the right mouse button on a position. Alright, prep for displacement. Very, very well done rendering of the desert so far. Hold shift when issuing commands to cue them. Unit calling, send again. Channel it on our way. Clear now. I say again, this is Sencom. We've got new SLPs for operations during salvage escort. Go ahead. All right. Packing there we go. Minutes, but they want you <coughs> to make sure all vents are switched to automatic to ensure any contaminants don't get into your crew compartment. What contaminants? Donut. Next, you'll learn how to control the game camera. Thanks. Have a good one. Okay, game camera, zoom, pitch, rotate the camera. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate and pitch the camera. Oh, wow. Try this now. Very nice Press rendering. Press backspace to reset the camera to its default orientation. There you go. Panning the camera is just as easy. Okay, pan the camera. Press the arrow keys on your keyboard. Or hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse. Information about selected units is displayed in the bottom left. Command buttons like attack and move are displayed in the bottom right. This is a command carrier. It produces units for combat and resourcing. The command carrier is your mobile headquarters. Durable but lightly armed. You can press the home or tilde key to select your carrier at any time. Move the carrier to the marked position. Position mark, take us out. There it goes. Press the F key to focus the game camera on selected units. Confirmed. 
The camera will follow focused units while still allowing you to zoom and rotate. Pan the camera in any direction to break focus. Press the space bar to open the sensors manager. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, from the original game. You can select and move units within the sensors manager. Red icons represent enemy units. Pretty straightforward. White icons represent your units. Your selected units are green. Orange okay. and blue triangles represent resources. Blue domes represent the sensor range or vision of your units. Enemy units with <coughs> contact range are marked with a red circle. As your oh, wow. units get closer, they'll be in sensor range of the enemy. At this point, you will see each enemy unit clearly. Pretty straightforward. When issuing an attack move command, you'll see a red line drawn between the selected unit and the mouse cursor. When this line appears broken, the selected unit cannot fire on its target. This indicates that high terrain, or an obstacle, is blocking the unit's line oh. of fire. You will therefore have to move units around the obstacle or onto high ground in order to achieve a clear line of fire. Select your light attack vehicles and use them to destroy the enemy units. Okay. You can right click an enemy unit to attack, or press A and left click to attack move. To command your units to attack a group of enemies, hold the control key and drag a box around the target enemy units. Oh, here they come. Strike craft taking effective fire. Stay straight forward. Hostile strike craft down. All right, there you go. We win. Oh, some of my Select units got destroyed. Command carrier now. The command carrier has a unique power shunting system used to manage combat and production capability. Add <coughs> all available power to the turret network system. So that would be this one, okay. So I guess. Weapon systems online. Enemy there contacts on the board. Uh -oh. Enemy forces are attacking the carrier. Uh -oh. Destroy them. Let's see. Target on the board. Alright. So hopefully. Alert! Carrier is taking fire. Ooh, wow, that is some beastly armor. The, distribution, the command carrier can hold its own in combat. Pretty beastly. Selecting a unit and pressing the move or attack move command button displays the terrain overlay. While the terrain overlay is active, some terrain is color shaded to display its relative height. The three colors of the terrain overlay represent high ground, low ground, and neutral ground. When a unit takes position on the high ground, it deals extra damage when attacking units on lower terrain. Okay, that makes the enemy sense. Have deployed armored units. You'll have to find another way to defeat this enemy force. Uh oh. Railguns are most effective when firing from long range. However, they can be easily overwhelmed by short range strike craft like light attack vehicles. All designated. Mark Baron. Armor ready. Assign a control key by holding the control key and pressing a number key. Sensors. Select the units in a control group by pressing the corresponding number key. Control group 2 designated. Reading. Control group 3 designated. Use the boost ability on your light attack vehicles to intercept the enemy. Select the light attack vehicles and left click the boost ability button. Then issue a move command. Hostile fight. Light As vehicle crews score kills in combat, they'll earn veterancy. Veterancy improves combat ability. Right crap down. To see veterancy, select a vehicle and mouse over the ability button in the lower right corner of the command panel. See, veteran so. units also have a veterancy badge, visible on their health bar in the main game viewpoint. Repair and preserve veteran units. When your forces are outnumbered, veteran troops can turn the tide of the battle. See, so use LAV to destroy real guns. 
and then use real guns to strike home with assault vehicles. attack force. No single unit type will excel at destroying this target. Moving out. However, aircraft can attack this force with impunity. Select the command carrier to launch aircraft. Confirmed. Launch Should aircraft call. by selecting the carrier and clicking the launch ability button. After left clicking the button, left click a target location to launch your aircraft. There they come. While deployed, Aircraft can be selected and issued commands just like other vehicles. Once their ammunition is depleted, aircraft will automatically return to the command carrier to reload and repair. Big red. Oh, the rail gun is taking effect at all. Coordinate dialed. Drop. 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 Ooh. Excellent work. You have completed the tutorial. You're ready to explore the vast deserts of Capital. Well, so there you go. Success. Got my first achievement done. Uh, that is this mission that is done. So I, um, I, it's actually getting quite, quite late. So I am going to uh, put this together, edit it, and put it up on YouTube. Uh, G is for gaming. Uh, as part of the Let's Play series. So if you do like this uh, video, please uh, give me a very big warm thumbs up and if you really like it and want to continue supporting our group please subscribe to g is for gaming uh as well as my own channel intrep player intrep gamer yes yeah that's terrible but yes um that's it so um yeah just have fun and be safe bye